All right, so the hair painting technique is done, and I'm just gonna spin it around. Basically, every section is colored all the way up to, up to the top. I took section by section. You wanna paint it on, and then use your fingers to brush it up and kind of like tease it with your fingers, and that's gonna give it that diffused kind of look, or that ombre type look that's gonna be very lived in. So now we're gonna let it process for about maybe 20 minutes or so, and then we'll see how it looks. Well, the color is done and it looks stunning even when wet. So the next step of this process is the haircut. So what we're doing is we're keeping some of the length. You wanna clean off the ends. And what you wanna do is create your outline first. So we're gonna start in the back, then we're gonna work in through the sides, and then we're going to create our face frame and the fringe or bang area, which is gonna be one of the highlights of this whole haircut. So now that we've established our length, we're ready to create our face frame right in the front and where we're gonna also create our fringe or bang area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little bit of a triangle right in the top of the head here and we're going to create our length right in the front. Now the whole key of this whole haircut right here is this, the bangs. And the summer bang look is a little bit of a longer more lived in look that you have options that you can wear it down, you can wear it to the side and you can really, really have a lot of fun with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a section like this, we're gonna lock in our comb, we're gonna bring it down to probably right about the tip of the nose, just like this, and we're going to point cut. And point cutting gives it a nice texture that it's not straight across, it has a lot more of a lived in kind of look to it. All right, so actually it's a little bit longer, say the top of the lip, just like that. Great, that's our section for the fringe. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect this and create a face frame and an angle going from the corner here down to the length this way. And how, we're, how are we gonna do that? Simply you're gonna slide cut just like this. And we're gonna work our thumb all the way down into the length, that side is done and that creates a soft blend because we want this to be really, really kind of lived in. And we do the same thing on this side here. We're gonna come over the top this way and we're gonna work our thumb and we're gonna slide down into the length. And that's how you create a beautiful angled face frame. Now, don't forget, we still have to layer the entire haircut and the first section we're gonna take is right into the back right into the, back, the top back of the head. Now remember, we have to connect. This is all blended. So we have this short piece and this long piece. And you're probably thinking to yourself, how on earth are we gonna do that? Well, it's simple. You have to just simply create your guide right in that section we just took. And then everything is going to be cut to that point as you work into the front. So it's okay to leave length into here. It's okay to leave length. So let's cut our length. And 
We are then going to take section by section in through the back. We're going to hold everything straight up to its last section, but we're not going to go all the way to the bottom. So there's our guide right there, as you can see, and we're going to cut that straight off. So again, we're combing horizontally up this, this way. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And what this is doing, it's really guaranteeing that we're going to have an even layer on both sides. So now this is done and we still have to work this in through the length. So we're going to comb everything straight out from the head and what's going to happen is you're going to see where we left off. Okay, there's the area that needs to be cut right there and we're going to bring that all the way down to the very, very end. And those ends are going to drop out. What just dropped out is the length. You don't want to cut that. Okay, let's move over a little bit this, this way. You don't want to cut the very, very length. That's the key to this. You cut just what is in your hand, let that all fall out, and you'll keep a solid, thicker baseline. If you cut too much, it's going to thin out the ends way too much, and you're going to end up causing some, and creating some holes. So the entire back, pull it straight out from the head, and we're going to create beautiful layers. And once we're done, we'll be able, with the back, we'll be able to then work in through the top. All right, so the layering the back is finished, but now it's time to connect the back in through the top. And what we're gonna do is we're now going to extend, going shorter to longer. So our elbow is going to be pointing towards the ceiling. And that's the best way to create shorter to longer. Now also notice my body position, which is key, is allowing that. It's allowing me to raise my elbow up. If I were to stand on the opposite side, I'd be pointing my body positioning down, which would be very, very uncomfortable. So this is, this is just connecting the back into the top. And once we're done with this, we'll be able to then cut everything horizontally right into the front and everything should connect in through the bang area. Okay, so now for the very top, we're going to pull everything straight up from the head and we're going to cut straight across, which is going to give us a lot more of a better chance of working this all in to the very, very front, which is the key. The key is to have this all blend in. So take a section going right down the middle, leave out the corners. You want to leave the corners out because we're going to come back and do that. Remember, we're working just on the top of the head right here. And there is the guide right there. And we're going to cut that. And everything is working out perfectly. So now the corners. The corners is where this connects in through the corners inside of the head. And this is also very crucial too, because this is where you actually leave the length on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to angle again going upwards this way and we're going to work towards the front of the head going from the back to the front comb everything straight out from the head and then we're going to angle rotate up so the, the bottom will drop out which is your length and then we're going to work this in through the front now with the, with the front if there were any parts that weren't really blended in or connected this is really going to show you and this is also a great time to then connect everything and blend it in so for example little, those little corners there I want to take those off now don't forget we can work this into the very very bottom because we have to make sure that it is connected all the way to the very very bottom and that's where we angle everything up this way and we're just going to take off a little tiny bit you don't want to cut the ends at a low position because it will cut off the length. Let the length drop out and then we're going to trim what's in between that. So finish this up on this side and then do the exact same thing on the other side and then we'll do some texturizing then we'll be ready to blow dry it. All right great so now the haircut is complete throughout the sides and the back and we're going to come in now and we're going to reshape the fringe area and what we're going to do is we're going to point cut even more right in this area and this is just going to create a little more texture. And that what we're going to do is we're going to come in and slide cut a little bit just to remove some weight. You can even do a little point cutting here. And we're really, really adding a lot of texture. That's the whole key to this whole thing is adding texture throughout the fringe or the bang area 
to really give it that kind of summer, really nice flow. And this is really, really gonna be great for a variety of styles. So now that this is done, we have to use some styling product. And because we're going for a summery look, of course, we're gonna use my product, Tidal Wave. So Tidal Wave gives that really natural, gorgeous, light, hold. It's not very sea salty like a lot of products out there where it's so heavy and so grimy. This smells incredible. It smells like something you never smelled before. It does thicken the hair and it gives a great shape. I'm totally obsessed with this product. Spray it throughout the roots and the ends and then you can follow up with another product if you want to help smooth it out. Well, as you can see, the haircut and the hair color looks absolutely gorgeous. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to use my thinning shear just to really soften up the fringe area to give it a little more texture. And you're doing this just throughout the ends, basically that you pick the hair up and you let it fall kind of in the area of the shear just to really, really soften it. You're not going near the base of the scalp and you're gonna simply just do this throughout both sides right in the front here. You can do it also in the top. Just have a little bit of fun and be creative with this. Well, here's the finished result. I think this is beyond sexy. This is gorgeous. You can wear it over this way, all right? You can do a side sweeping fringe. You can wear it off your face, kind of like this. You can part it in the middle. You can bring it back this way, all right? You can put it in like a little bit of like a bun here, or a, a clip right on top. And one of my favorites is wearing it just kind of very natural in the face like this with that heavy kind of gorgeous blonde. And now I want to show you guys the color because the color came out stunning as well. As you can see here, there's no harsh lines whatsoever. And this, this technique of me softening the line with my finger, just kind of back homing with my fingers here is a really time saving technique. I think it's great. I had a lot of fun doing it. And as you can see, I think this might be kind of the new, you know, trend for ombre as far as application. It can save you a lot of time and it looks absolutely stunning. So if you're a professional hairstylist and you love this video and this really helped you out from the color technique to the haircut, please share it, please like it, leave your comments, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not, and you just simply love this look, then I'd love to hear how much you love it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Don't forget to leave the comments, don't forget to like, and also subscribe. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.